Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. I tell you, I, I, I've listened to a couple of uh, audio programs by our next guest, and I will tell you they're extraordinary and uh, extremely unique. Uh, Dr. John Martini is really a, uh, I don't know, how do you really describe him? He is a person who transforms the way people think, and he helps people understand that unless you change your thinking, it's really impossible to achieve the task you want. There isn't some kind of rote method. There isn't simple action involved, but it literally requires uh, a paradigm shift or even beyond that, a uh, almost a, uh, um, a psychological transformation uh, in order to make some of the things you really want happen in life. One of the best examples is his work on helping people understand wealth and how people become rich and really why very few people become rich. And, and I wanted to focus on that today. Dr. Martini, welcome to the program. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm glad to. So t- tell us a little bit about your background, and then we'll get into the topic of wealth and, and why it really is so difficult for people to achieve it. Well, I, um, for the last 43 years of my life, I've been dedicated to maximizing human awareness and potential and been traveling and speaking and writing and researching, and, and so I just full-time travel and speak and educate today. Mm-hmm. And uh, is your background in psychology, your Ph.D. work? My my doctorate was actually in spinal research, spinal education, and uh, as a chiropractor, and also involved in healthcare, and it also was in psychology. That was my undergraduate in bio, biochemistry and psychology. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's talk a little bit about uh, about wealth and why it is uh, so very few that end up having it. And I love the fact that your your program explains that at the very beginning, uh, because there's you know everyone's looking for get rich period, let alone get rich quick. And uh, most of the programs out there simply come up short. And I can see why. You, you, you point out in your audio program the huge chasms between uh, the, the programs that are out there in reality. Well, I, I ask people, about a million, how many people want to be financially independent, and they all put their hands up. And then I ask them, how many of you are, and they mostly put their hands down. And they say it's about 1% of the population. It's actually less than that worldwide. So financial independence is a rare thing compared to what uh, people fantasize. And I found out, we looked down to the bottom line of it, it has everything to do with what people value. People many times are confusing financial independence with living a fantasy lifestyle, the rich and famous. And as long as they have a higher value on spending money on consumables and depreciables, which are liabilities, instead of actually assets which pay them, uh, and having a higher value on saving and investing money and buying things that really go up in value, as long as they don't have that value to build and save money and invest, they're not going to. Mm-hmm. They have to be able to have a higher value on, a, on long-term vision more so than immediate gratification, on assets more than liabilities. And people think they have that as a value, but then they, their life doesn't demonstrate it. Right. Very few have that, I think. And I think that's reflective in the sheer amount of people who are in debt and the sheer number of people that uh, really after decades have little to show for what they've done. Well, I always say it's not how much you make, it's how you manage what you make, and how you manage what you make is based on the values you hold. And if you have a hierarchy of values that are such that that saving and investing money is at the top, then the second you get money, you save a portion of it. If it's at the bottom, then you run out of money at the end of the month. So it's all about how you value your, how you spend your money. Yeah. And I've seen people make, uh, I, I had one client that made $6.29 million in a year and had to borrow money to pay taxes at the end of the year and was, is broke. I also know somebody that made only $2,000 a month, and 20% of it uh, was being saved every month. And they were close to financial independence. So it didn't, have, didn't matter how much you made. It mattered how you managed what you made. I like the word values. It's a great word. Well, every human being has a set of priorities, a set of values that they live their life by, and that hierarchy of values dictates their financial destiny. So tell me what you value. I have a 13-step value determining process on the website that I help people determine what that is to determine the probability if they well whether they're going to be wealthy or not. And if for some reason it's not, wealth building is not up in the top ranks of the values, then I have a system on how to raise it so they can increase the probability of having wealth in their life. Because there are six steps that I found common to wealthy billionaires, and if a person doesn't have these in their highest values, the probability of them being very financially well off is, is very low. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can, I can see that. So how do you make a shift? Is it possible to even make a shift? You know, when I heard your audio program, you know, you, you made it pretty clear it isn't simple. 
And I like that. You know, I get tired again of uh, different programs and books I've seen that, that are out there that we've reviewed at priceofbusiness.com and usdailyreview.com that simply really offer pie in, the, you know, pie in the sky. I like the warning shot over your bow of the, of the reader that, or in this case, a listener, that uh, this isn't going to be easy. Talk a little bit about how to make that shift. Well, you know, I always tell people, you know, that, that fantasize about having financial independence. I've been blessed to have financial independence for probably 25 years more now. So I've been blessed there. But, but I didn't start out that way. So I, I, I know it can be changed because I've taken thousands of people through it. So it's doable. It's just work. So the first step that I tell people is unless you really have a desire to work and serve people and meet needs, you really don't have a source of income. So if you don't have a work ethic, a desire to want to make a difference in other people's lives, if you have a desire to actually go out and serve people like Bill Gates, is, you know, he's created a software that everybody benefits, and Facebook has created something that thousands and millions of people use. When you actually serve people and make a difference in people's lives and meet their needs, you have a source of income. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a desire to care enough about humanity to go out and meet those needs, then um, you don't have the first step in building wealth. You really have to... Step out of your own comfort zone and find a way of helping people. The second thing is to make sure that you build a business that, that is actually profitable and managed properly and efficiently and effectively so there's a profit. The third is making sure that you save a portion of those profits and um, actually have a desire to keep a liquid cash cushion. And the fourth one is to make sure that you, you learn how to invest those in ever greater degrees of risk and reward and the fifth one is basically have a desire to accumulate wealth, because if you don't, you'll just live it on lifestyle. And the last one is to create a financial cause that leaves a legacy, that leaves a mark in the world, so you can do something beyond your life. If these six steps aren't in place, and these aren't on your value list, the probability of being wealthy is very low. I've found that every billionaire that I've interviewed has had these six things in common. Mm-hmm. And so I always tell people to write down the hundreds of benefits of doing these six things and it will raise it on their value list and their priorities, so it increases the probability that they see opportunities, take advantage of opportunities, and take action. Yeah, by the way, are those six things, uh, can they be found over at DMR, drdmartini.com? Yes, drdmartini.com, uh, on the website, on the far left, there's a value um, determining process to determine what your values are, and there's also, if they look through media and look through uh, writings on there, they can find these references. Yeah, yeah. I encourage people to learn about it. I think it's fantastic. I also encourage you to go to one of his seminars or buy one of his many uh, audio programs. He's got several, not just in the area of wealth. Uh, real quickly, cover uh, just real quickly. You only have a couple of minutes left. Talk about some of the area, other areas that you cover. Well, I've been interested in the last uh, forty-three years on anything to do with mastering life and mastering uh, the seven areas of life. I believe in any area of our life we don't empower somebody else will overpower. So I'm interested in mind development and maximizing genius and potential, uh, mastering business and building wealth, um, and mastering wealth building, uh, mastering relationships, because otherwise your wealth can be cut in half, uh, mastering social leadership and empowerment, physical health and well-being, and being inspired by your life. So all my programs are designed to empower each of those seven areas. And uh, like I said, any area of your life you don't empower, somebody's going to overpower. If you don't fill your life with things that inspire you, it's going to fill up with things that don't. Yeah, very good. Well, listen, I appreciate your time, and I appreciate you sharing your message. Uh, I hear you have an event coming up here pretty quickly in Houston. Do you want to mention that? Uh, Yes, coming up in a few weeks, I have a program uh, on success and achievement. There's also one on relationships coming up. And if they go to my website, drdmartini.com, they can see where it is in Houston coming up in the next few weeks here. Dr. D. Martini is is dr. D E M A R T I N I dot com. D R D E M A R T I N I dot com. And uh, Dr. D. Martini, thanks for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. You bet. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you best content here will be found over there at usdailyreview.com. While there, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter, and you're listening to The Price of Business. <laughs> 